Welcome back, South Africa This Week. Mr. Chester Missing spoke to Diane Cola Barnard. Mr. Missing, go easy on her. Hey, man, I'm talking to Diane Cola Barnard. DA Shadow Minister of Police and fan of retro 1980s haircuts. How's it going, man? At least I have hair to cut. That Chester. is true. At least you got hair to cut. Even, even, even hair is something white people have more of. Listen, I've heard about, I saw you in Parliament. You told the ANC to f That's mad. Yes, I was mad at the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. not, are you not mad anymore? No, not yet with you. Not yet. It's coming. Okay. <laughs> Okay, touch my chest, chest again, Chester. Yeah? We're going to have a problem. Yeah, la, la. Fighting the DA. <laughs> Fighting the DA. So I see the ANC as cabinet ministers and the DA as shadow ministers. Is mm -hmm. that like cabinet's version of a girl child to work day, but instead they take a white person? No. It means I shadow the minister, and when he messes up, I tell everybody. You complained about the crime statistics in 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012. Has it occurred to you that the problem might be you? No, it hasn't, because it's not. But you don't know that. I mean, maybe you need crime statistic therapy. No, I don't. Like, you need anger management therapy? I don't need anger management! Oh, my God, the DA told me I need... I've been rude to the ONC, ANC, but I've never told them to f*** off. That's true. And I didn't really. I actually said it to myself and they read my lips. They told you me afterwards. You said it to yourself. Why are you guys negative all the time? I mean, do you see yourself like Randall Abrams from Idols? Do you really think we're negative all the time? Yeah, when I we... do think you're negative all the time. Well, you obviously aren't listening because we run Cape Town. We run oh the my Metro. God. We run are the Western Cape. And we do it black. extraordinarily well. And the Western Cape has had more service delivery protests than any other province and last year. And why do you think that is? Why, why do you think it is? Of course it's a setup. Why? They... Oh, it's a setup. It oh, of is. course. It black is. people aren't clever enough to actually protest on their own behalf. I wouldn't say a thing like That's that. I think, you're you're being very, I think you're being very racist. I am not racist at all. You're the one who's racist. You're, you're the one denying that race exists. So people have that? to carry the burden of race. Get your microphone off of my chest. I can't help your chest sticking out. <laughs> the, the protests are patently organized. And growing up in apartheid, did that help you learn how to hate on the black guys? Actually, I grew up all over the world. I grew up in America, in Las Palmas, Canary Islands. Yeah. I've lived in England. I've yeah. lived all over the world, really. So what gives you a right to then come tell South Africans what to do if you're not even South African? You like that embryosic guy from Excuse those me, guys. who said I wasn't South African? I was born in Port Elizabeth. But you, exactly, you from apartheid. That's what I was saying. That's exactly what I was saying. Why do you think our crime statistics are so high? There's many issues, a lot of it corruption, greed. Corruption uh, and greed. Yes, okay. syndicates, international syndicates, international inability. International syndicates. You don't think it's also maybe because white people like you force black people into a system of economic servitude to destroy families and has created a cycle of poverty. So it, when are you going to blame yourselves for the crime statistics? It most certainly was based on that. But 18 years down the line, it would be hopeful. It should be hoped that we would see a difference. But yeah. sadly, we haven't seen a big enough difference. The only real differences we're seeing is where the DA is in government. You'll do anything to get in the newspaper, marching on in Kandla, Kasatu, trying to impeach the president. Do you like the Kardashians of South African politics? So you want us to be quiet and not be an official opposition? Let's take in Kandla. The yes. president has a 280 million rand house. Indeed. Yeah. I well, don't. people live in shacks next door. Indeed. It's disgusting, isn't that's it? That's right. So that's our, oversight is... our oversight role was to yeah. go and look. No, you're right. And I went to go look at you guys because I think it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. The shacks right there. If you go to Ellen Zilla's house, they got the right idea. They made the shacks live far away. Go away, shacks. In fact, you can't even get into Ellen Zilla's house. You get stopped by the armed wing of the DA. Armed wing of the DA. Yeah, they're called ADT. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not a joke, it's true. Uh -huh. Listen, listen, quite seriously though, uh, you, you admit that you guys will do anything to make the ANC look <laughs> Anything you can do, you'll do. No, I won't admit that. But it is what you do. I think they do a fine job all on their own. They don't need our help. Oh my God, you coming up with your own gags. Do you support affirmative action? Of course. So is Lindiwe Mazibuko an affirmative action employee? No, she's but, not an employee. Apple was she, way better than her. She is not an employee. Okay, not an employee. She oh, my was God. Elected. She was elected. She was yeah. elected because she was Helen the best Zilla candidate for Apple. the job. Oh, no, she my didn't. God, you live in a denial. denial de so do you agree with the quota system in affirmative action? 
I agree that if two people are applying for the same job and have equal qualifications, the previously Is disadvantaged that a yes or person no? do you, should do get you the job. You? Do you agree should get with, the job. Do you agree with the quota system in affirmative action? No, I action? don't believe in quotas. Ah, uh, you see, you see, that's like, that's a, you can't have affirmative action without quota. That's like, it's like taking, getting a bulldog and taking his teeth out. It's bloody ridiculous. It'll just suck you to death. <laughs> what are you going to do to make me vote DA? Hmm. I won't ever. No. <laughs> oh my God. Ripe. Ripe. Oh my God. Molested by a Coca Cola boner. You disgusting, lady, you bloody pervert. Go back to Durban. Oh, oh my, my God. I damn those shadow ministers.